Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Markia. Welcome to the family. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so you'll be notified when I upload. Um, if you have not seen my last video, I announced that I was pregnant. I actually made that video and now I'm making this video. But this video is about all about my first trimester. Clearly, as you see on the title. But um Yeah, let me tell you guys about the struggle I had through my first trimester. So I am currently 17 weeks in one day. Um I found out in February. I found out pretty early in my that I was pregnant. I actually found out before my missed period. Um, so yeah. So let me just tell you guys. I didn't write it down or have notes on my phone or nothing like that because when I tell you first trimester was a struggle for me, it was a struggle. Like a lot of things that happened to me in first trimester, didn't nobody tell me that this would happen. I didn't. It was. Ugh. Anyways, if you're interested, just stay tuned to the video. I might get right into it. Okay, so first trimester was horrible. You guys, like, it, and I'm not trying to, like, scare nobody. If you're in your first trimester, I'm sorry. It, it's just, if you're trying to get pregnant, I'm sorry. Not everybody's experience is going to be the same. It's just, I'm just going to tell you guys minds and, um... I haven't ran across a video like this about the first trimester because I feel like a lot of videos they be like, oh, first trimester is just the best. I I am glowing. I don't have morning sickness and this, this, and that. And my hair is growing and my nails is growing. But <laughs> I'm not making fun of none of you guys. But um, for me, it was totally the opposite. Okay? So... The first few weeks, it was fine. Like, I found out. I found out early, so it didn't, like, hit me at all. So, the first few weeks, it was fine. And then, all of a sudden, I got really, really sick. Um, I couldn't hold food down. I was throwing up. It was just bad. Like, and then, like, my scent, the smell, like... The sensitivity of my smell grew 10,000 times stronger. And if you know me in person, you know before I even got pregnant, I could smell anything. Like, that was like my superpower. I could smell anything. And since I've been pregnant, I smell everything times a million. It was It's just bad. Like, everything I thought smelled good, it was nasty. It just smelled horrible to me. And then, like, as the weeks went by, I noticed, like, those smells didn't stink. It was just, like, super strong. Like, cleaning supplies, I hated it. Oh, my God. If you was cleaning, I threw up like that. It, I couldn't deal with it. My Scentsy, I cut it off. I couldn't deal with none of those smells. I didn't like lotions, perfumes, soaps, um, deodorants. I didn't like nothing. Everything that I loved before I got pregnant, I hated it. Like, it was so bad. I, like, ended up moving to the back. I stayed in my room the whole time, every day, all day. I couldn't be up front. I, ugh. Sense of smell was horrible, you guys. Like, that's just number one. Um, The next thing that, ugh, excuse me. The next thing that I never heard nobody talk about, and I never even heard of it, um, I had, I have been diagnosed with hypermesis, something start with G, I will put it on the screen so you guys can see it, but it's pretty much severe morning sickness, like 10 times worse than regular morning sickness, it is horrible, you guys can look it up if you want to. But you're pretty much throwing up all day, every day. If you're pregnant, you know morning sickness does not mean you just sick in the morning. You're sick all day. But with this hypermesis, you're is sick all day, every day, like I said. It's just hard to explain. I'll try to put a description going up, tell you guys what it is. 
But um, I actually was losing weight. I lost weight in the first trimester. And um, I know a lot of people say that's normal, but I lost a lot of weight. And it was because I wasn't able to eat. I couldn't hold nothing down. I was throwing up. Um, on top of that, I didn't have no energy. I didn't to lay down all day. Uh, <sighs> excuse me. So, yeah, I didn't have no energy. I laid down all day. Didn't have an appetite. Um, sick every day, all day. I got dehydrated. I knew, That's the first time I went to the hospital. I was super dehydrated. Even though I was drinking water 24-7. Like, a whole bunch of water. And I ended up getting super dehydrated because I was throwing up so much. And, um... That was just the bad part, and I I just felt really bad because, not because I was sick, but because I was not excited to be pregnant because I was <laughs> sick. It's hard to be excited. I mean, it's not hard because, I mean, you have that special human being growing in you, but it was hard to be excited. Um I'm in this group where we all we're all do it around the same time and everybody just posting lovely pictures, they're excited and I just wasn't feeling it. I didn't have the glow. Um a lot of these first trimester videos I watched, people they like I'm glowing, I'm just so happy. I I mean I was happy but I was it was really hard. Um other than that, first trimester some things that is normal in the first trimester my nails did grow a lot I kind of like broke them off because they was too long my nails grew a lot my hair actually did grow a lot um, it's up in a bun right now and it's like getting thicker um, I haven't got the nose spread yet I know that's coming um, my face has been breaking out a ton 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 and I don't have problems with acne but this since I've been pregnant it's been pimples not necessarily pimples but bumps I don't know just breaking out weird breakouts and like right here my cheeks from right here all the way down to this cheek right here is super dry it don't matter if I put lotion face cream on moisturizer is dry all the time uh, my lips being really chapped and peeling and bleeding I got this black mark right here so I keep CarMax and I try to fix that if, if CarMax work for the most part um, what's another thing eczema I always had like a a touch a hint of eczema but since I've been pregnant it's been blotches all over my body I've been finding eczema everywhere um another thing that happened was I started getting these skin tags on my body um it was on one of my stomach it was there for like three weeks then it went away found one on my back one on my leg um so they popping up everywhere but then they go away so I don't know if I necessarily call it skin tags I don't know but um for the most part that was my first trimester and that's why I said it was really difficult for me I didn't really get to enjoy anything go out or anything like that I'm just now starting to get my energy back that's another reason why I finally did <laughs> these videos for you guys finally started getting my energy back finally getting rid of the morning sickness um I still get nauseated throughout the day, but it's nowhere as bad as it was before. So this is just like heaven sent. So I'm excited about that. Um, I am out of breath all the time. It's so sickening <laughs> because if you watched me before, I was getting back into my fitness and losing weight and stuff like that. Now it's hard for me to freaking walk down the road 
without feeling like I'm about to die because I can't breathe. <laughs> um, I am getting bigger, as in my belly is getting bigger. I have not, I still have not gained any weight. Like I said, I lost weight, still didn't gain any weight. Um, it's weird though because my belly done got big, and my butt have gotten big, and my boobs have gotten big. But the scale is saying otherwise I didn't get any weight. So, <laughs> which is a good part because I really, really, really don't want to gain 50 pounds in this pregnancy. Um, and my doctor said it was good. He don't want me to start gaining weight till the end of my second trimester. Uh, <laughs> um, what else? What else? I'm going to try to show you guys my belly. Like I said, we're packing and the house is horrible. And I really don't want to show you guys anything in here. That's why you see the closet and the blank wall. <laughs> but I'm going to try to show you guys my belly um, at the end of this video. Let's see. What else been going in? Um, I've been super thirsty. Uh, all I drink is water. Lately, I've been craving soda. Um, like um, dark soda. I've been wanting Pepsi, Dr. Pepper, Cola, Cherry Cola, Cherry. I just want dark sodas. And I gave up dark sodas years ago. And I've been wanting them. And I drink it. I don't drink it all the time. I drink it sometimes, like once a week. And I like drinking it because the, it gets, I just feel the baby moving when I drink um, sodas. Dark sodas, only dark sodas, not Sprite or nothing like that. Um, I don't drink coffee no more, and it's not because I don't want to. Because if you're, you can have, I think, one cup of coffee a day when you're pregnant. But it's just disgusting to me right now. I had a lot of food aversions. I loved salmon before I got pregnant. I can't stand it now. Fish. Just nasty. Um, chicken nuggets, I don't eat. can't eat right now. Sounds nasty. What I've been loving is pickles. And I know it's like a cliche. All pregnant women like pickles. But I love pickles before I got pregnant. But I'm like really obsessed over them now. Um, another craving I've been having is limes. I never just ate lime straight up and I will go cut a lime and just suck on it all day love limes um, I in the beginning of my pregnancy I was craving sandwiches and I hate before I got pregnant I hate sandwiches I don't like cold sandwiches none of that but I was craving it you guys that's all I wanted Jersey Mike's and Subway is so good bread like I just wanted bread Trying to figure out any of the cravings I had in my first trimester. Because I'm in my second trimester right now. I'm not trying to like tell you my second trimester yet till I make that video. But I think that's pretty much it. Um, I didn't want to make this video too long. But it's already at 13 minutes right now. Looking at it. So I'm going to let you guys go. Um, but I'm going to show you my belly. Real quick. So hold on. If it will it up right ow So this is my belly. Um, pull down my pants, my shorts. This is it from the side. And that's the baby bump. It's like the baby's like sitting up high. And this, oh, this is the side with my shirt down. Side with my shirt up front with my shirt up as you can see I'm starting to get that line well I always had that line but it's like getting dark and then this line is getting darker and then my shirt down and then this side 
as you guys can see, like my booty done got really big. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I've never been the smallest person. So of course I still got like belly fat at the bottom of my belly, but the top, that's all baby. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm 17 weeks right now. I'm in my second trimester, four months, if you don't know what 17 weeks are, because I didn't before I got pregnant. Now I understand why they go about week by week, because the doctors does that. Um, but I'm four months, and that is my belly, but belly button, my baby butt right now. Um, and I will catch you guys in the next video, which should hopefully be the old wife tales video to try to figure out the gender because we find out next week at the gender reveal and you guys will see that video also so like i said make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and that bell thing so you can see when i upload i'll be notified when i upload i'm so out of breath all right you guys i will talk to you guys later and thank you for coming to my channel subscribe subscribing Okay, bye you guys. <laughs>